Hello everyone, welcome back to SOC Outdoors. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Walking down to the river, it's a beautiful evening. We were inside most of the day, did a lot of shopping, so we're gonna get out, do some fishing. Becky's got her pole. Nice, huh? That's Pipers. That's Pipers. But we got some crawlers and some light poles. Becky's got a medium light and I got the extendable so if we get on bigger stuff I can switch over to a medium. Yep. But we got some new stuff to check out and we're gonna aim for panfish but we'll probably catch a stray bass here and there. So we're gonna get out here have a good old time. Enjoy the last little bit of sunshine for the day. It is a beautiful evening. A little breezy but that's keeping the heat down. And Piper's having fun playing. Yeah. All right, Becky's gonna put, cause she's got a medium light, she's gonna put a jig head on. And I'm going to put a hook on this ultra light. And then I'll probably set up my other reel on my extender pole. And I'll cast around too. That way we can get on something for sure. Piper's got a bobber down with some crawler on it. Oh my god. <sighs> Guy spooled this backwards. I think he spooled my backwards too. So, now that we got the lines spooled the right way, Look at ultra light. Now that's how you know you're feeling fish. This pole is real sensitive. <laughs> oh my God. Piper, look at this goby. Yeah, they got the tidiest fish ever. The 13 fishing defy let me know all day that this little guy was on there. Are you joking? Can I throw another model? You, we're gonna throw it up on the shore. Oh, in he goes. All right, so the Defy. Ultralight 6.6 showed that, showed just how sensitive it is, cause that wasn't even a fish. Ooh. I buy bigger walleye minnows. Does that count, first fish? No, That's just a penny? Pretty sure I just ripped that right out of the little goby's mouth. Stop, look. Stop, look. Very good, Pipe. Oh my eye. Oh, look, a big goby. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I think it's two dollars. That goby counts because that's actually big for a goby. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I do it back in. Big Goby. No, we're not throwing it back in. Why? Because they're invasive. They're not supposed to be here. Rock bass. Are you there? Ultralight's the shit! 
Littlest rock bass ever. Piper. Daddy got another one, bud. You missed it out. Just letting it hit the bottom. And just keep the tension on it so I can feel it. You on your rod might not feel it as well. You might find a pulse for it. Yours like a bass rod. Another little goby! You got one, I think. Hey, there we go. A little bit bigger rock bass. Well, that's good. Pipes, see how we're catching all these fish? You could be. Oh, I can't reach. Oh. Becky? Yep. That is sweet, smally. Get it up, get to the end. That's a nice fish. Here we go. You try to on him? I just don't want to lose him. Grab his mouth. Just like a bass. It's a big bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my Looky there. Got him. That is a beautiful small mob. Let's measure him up. Alright. Here, pipes. Watch your hands. Don't watch your feet. Wow. Yeah, what's that? Who got the big fish? I hate it. I hate it. And I'm not going to beat that. Like I say all the time, a hook and a crawler. It's a big, small <laughs> I know. 17 inch. Ooh. Oh, the biggest fish. The biggest fish. Bye, Mommy. Huh? Look at that. You wear an SOC Outdoors hat. You catch a monster smallie. Look at that guy. Look at the next place. Nice. Hold on, let's... Letting that monster go for another day. Thank God you caught it on the medium light rather than me on this ultra light. I've said it a thousand times. Let's see Becky's rig. This? You mean? Becky's rig. My thing. She used a number six long shaft hook and a worm. No split shot, no nothing. Got it out in the wind, caught a 17 inch small. Beautiful fish, holy. That's the best smallie on SOC history. Thanks Becky for being an angler. So biggest fish, most fish, first fish. I got first fish and most fish, so I'm still winning the three way. Well, by far, if I had, if I hooked into that right now, I'd probably run out of line. Get wrapped again. I got like a little goldie. Right now, I'm on mission for. I'm on goldie mission. I'm on. Mama Get another freaking smallie, smallie mission. Good job, boys. Oh, damn it. Yeah, good job, baby. Dad, look. Cool. Throw it away. Yeah. Put it in the bucket. Go, go play with them pigeons, bud. <laughs> oh, shit. Get out. <laughs> yeah! It worked. Look at it. Just saying, Big Daddy has real parenting techniques, okay? Frankenstein. That's what you want to wear? All right. Good luck walking down the street, though. Bass. Little baby rock bass. Bloop. I felt them just steal my stuff. I love fishing without a bobber. I never did that until I met you. And it's so much more fun. Yeah, you don't, you're not you're feeling it. Thank you.
Are you fishing pole? You're welcome. You really broke that in with, like that's it now. Well, you're gonna have to work hard to beat that smallie. Dude, the goby just stripped me in seconds. It's crazy. He's down there for seconds. I feel it. Like it's a second. Can I name it? Nally. Nally. Just, just name a worm. Yeah. Nally. Just name a worm. Smelly? No, Mally. Mally? Yeah, Mally. Don't worry about it. Don't get it. Here, hold on, Give me a chunk here. Let's see how he swifts. Ooh, huh? I might have got the smallest goby. Well, do you? No, yours is smaller. So that's three. How many you got? Nine. Stop. Eight. Nine. Nine. I got four gobies, three rock bass. <laughs> Well, I still got monster bass. What a beautiful night for this. Not time, Dad. Well, it's evening time, right? Yeah, what time is it? I time to buy a fishing five. launch. Eight or five. Oh, I close. I close. And I, I go to buy. I close, right? We're clearing the gobies out of here. Almost the tiniest goby ever. Alrighty. I'm gonna try a little pink fuzzy guy, probably a quarter, eighth ounce. Let's give it a shot. See if I can't get it to the bottom. Got a better fish. No rock bass! Not a bad one. Getting there. There we go. Looks like he's dancing. Okay, I think I still win the contest. Why? Because I got the biggest fish. I mean, <laughs> in your mind, you're going to say you won anyway. No, you might have got more, but I still got that big, pretty one. First fish, biggest fish, most fish. Okay, well, I won one out of three, all right? Well, you keep catching fish because I'm not using live bait anymore. I switched to give you a shot. I'm actually just trying to kind of figure this thing out. I think I'm going to go to... A jig head with live on the bottom. Got another one. Little gold. Not the littlest, but we got another little goby. Cleaning this place up. Getting him out of here. I don't mind coming out here on a night like tonight. And if we just catch a bunch of gobies just to get them out of here, I call that a win. Becky catching that big smallie was cool though. I mean, that's a bonus. That wouldn't have happened if we didn't come out here with a couple worms and some hooks. I'm out of split shots, down to the very last couple of hooks. Well, I would have to say, that 13 fishing defy ultralight 66 is a cool rod. I like it. I put this. It's a Bass Pro Shop something elite light, the micro light on it. And for this, just coming out here, I was pretty sure we were gonna get on some sort of panfish or goby or something. So I just brought this out here. It seems like it's got enough backbone that if you hooked into something big, you'd be able to fight it in. 
but I shot myself in the foot because I put a micro on it. And so if I was to get something big and it took off running, I'd probably run out of line before I got it in, but maybe not, you know? It's a nice little light setup for perch fishing. This is gonna be great. I'm still gonna use my $8 combo or $18 combo. I'm gonna keep that rod at least and I'll keep the reel and when it finally quits, then I'll be good to go. For what we had today, I'd call it a success. Just a couple reels and rods. We bought these two boxes with just a few little items. Just my emergency kit. Got my extendable pole. Everything in this bag is for the cameras. So I had just these two little boxes and it was far more than enough. So, and I got some trash here we found. And just my plastics for the jig heads that I have. Everything in here was just in my backpack. To be able to catch that smallie was really cool. We're gonna hang out for a little bit at the park with pipes and then head out and hopefully come up with a plan, do some serious fishing in the next couple of days. So, I don't know, I'd like to get on some pan fish. We can do some more pan fish recipes and then we'll get into some big going out, doing some bass fishing, adventuring. We're taking a trip up north, so we're gonna be doing some trout fishing, which I brought this light to get it out, get it set up. And I got my other, or the ultra light, I got my light, I got the medium light. So I got three nice rods. This one breaks down, it'll be great. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit, hit the like button really helps out i'm getting up there in subscribers once i get a decent number of subscribers i'm going to start doing some giveaways to give back give away some equipment you know i'm really planning on doing a lot to give back to people get people out here fishing with me so be sure to check out the website look at our apparel i'm going to be coming out with more and more again same thing as the company grows so will our apparel so will the giveaways so will all that check out the SIC podcast on Spotify. I've um, got a few episodes in the plan. Now that I got one under my belt, I learned what I did right and wrong. So that's gonna really be something that I take seriously and get working on. Check us out on social media. Give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram. It's th the best way to know where we're gonna be, what we're doing because I post as things are happening. Be sure to get out there, do some adventuring for yourself. This was super easy, super fun, super relaxing. Great way to end a Sunday. And as always from SOC Outdoors, be sure to be kind to yourself. And if you can, be kind to someone else.